let's understand the DAO support in Spring. So what is the DAO? It's a data access object. Okay. And uh, so we'll see what are the APIs and supports we are having. Okay. So data access object with Spring. So we'll see this the agenda of DAW support is what intro. So we'll see the introduction part and what are the exceptions hierarchy we are having in the spring and what are the DAW classes we are having. Okay. So we'll have emphasis on the exceptions hierarchy in the spring. Okay. So you can see in uh, DAO that is the data access object support in a spring is aimed at making it easy to work with data access technology like JDBC, Hibernate or ZDU in a consistent way, right? So always we need to interact with the database once we uh, we want to uh, like uh, store some data to the database from my application. So we need this kind of uh, technology like uh, uh, ZDBC right and you can integrate uh, Hibernate so we can you can see our next uh, or last example of the spring how we can integrate Hibernate with uh, spring and we can use ZDU and all for connecting with database but here we are having a DAW support so this allows one to switch between the for uh, mentioned persistent technology fairly easy and it also allows one to code without worrying about catching exceptions that are specific to each technology. So they are uh, maintaining a good uh, number of exceptions. So they have made a, a good hierarchy of the exceptions. So I'll have an emphasis on that. You can see the exceptions. So on the top we have one exception that is the data access exceptions, right? So you can see this top level exception that we have. From these exceptions, we are having number of uh, sub exceptions like data access, resource failure exception, cleanup failure data access exceptions, right? Invalid data access, uh, I can say API usage exceptions, right? Invalid data access, resource usage exceptions. So type mismatch data access exceptions, right? So generally we face this kind of problem when we work with the database, right? And deadlock. Uh, loser data access exceptions, data integrity violations with the database, right? So uncategorized or I can say uncategorized data access exceptions. So there's a good uh, number of exceptions we are having and that is maintained by the DAO uh, in the spring. You need not to worry to handle all these exceptions. So in addition to ZDBase exception, a spring can also wrap Hibernate specific exceptions, converting them from priority checked exceptions, okay, to a set of focus runtime exceptions. So that's very good uh, stuff with the spring now. Like this allows one to handle most persistent exceptions, which are non recoverable, right? Can I still trap and handle exceptions like anywhere one needs to, oh, okay. So I can say. As mentioned in that you what you can do uh, JDB exceptions are also converted to the same hierarchy meaning that one can perform some operation with JDBC within a consistent programming model okay so the above holds true for the various template class in the spring support for various ORM frameworks also okay if one uses the interceptor based classes that the application must care about handling hibernate exceptions right and ZDU exception itself so uh, I can say uh, preferably this by delegating session factory utils and convert hibernate access exceptions or convert JDO access exception method respectively right so these methods convert the exceptions to ones that are compatible with the exception in the ORG string framework DAO exceptions hierarchy. Okay, as JDO exceptions are unchecked, they cannot, uh, they can simply get through a uh, thrown to, so sacrificing generic DAO abstractions in terms of exceptions through. Okay, 
and uh, we have just seen the data access exception hierarchy here, right? So the exception hierarchy that Spring provides can uh, already we have seen that, right? So it's very uh, good number of exceptions we are having, which is getting handled, right? So dog classes, uh, consistent abstract class for dog support. We are having a JDBC dog support class, right? Okay. So uh, before going that, uh, let us uh, have a more details with that. So to make it easier to work with a variety of data access technologies such as JDBC or uh, JDO and Hibernate. Okay. You can see in a consistent way, Spring provides a set of abstract dog class that one can extend. So these are the abstract class have methods for providing data access or data source and any other configuration setting that that are specific to the relevant data access technology. So some of the classes like we have JDBC DAW support, Hibernate DAW support, ZU DAW support, JP DAW support. So we can extend this abstract class and we can provide a some of our own uh, functionality, right? So super class for ZDBC data access object. So require a data source to be provided. In turn, this class provides a ZDBC template instance in a slice from the supply data source to subclass. Similarly, we are having Hibernate DAO support. So subclass of Hibernate data access object. So requires a session factory to be provided. In turn, this class provides a Hibernate template. So there's a JDBC template here. Here we are having Hibernate template, which we can use. And instance in lies from the supplied session factory to the subclass. Okay. So you did not do much here. Once you are extending this class, you are getting ready with that. So can alternatively be initialized directly by a Hibernate template to reuse the uh, later setting with uh, like session factory plus mode and exception translator and so forth, right? So ZDO DAO support, uh, super class for ZDO DAO access object if you are going for implementation with the uh, ZDO. So requires persistent manager factory to be provided. In this, in turn, this class provides a ZDO template in its instance in, in slice, right? So you are getting some of the instance in a slice once you are extending this and last is the JPA for working with the JPO or uh, JPI I mean Java persistent API so you just extend uh, this DAO and you are ready with the uh, DAO object for uh, JPA persistent and it requires a uh, entity manager factory to provide it in turn this class provides a JPA template instance so in a slice from the supply entity manager factory to subclass. So we can work with that, right? Okay.